Yeah. Hey, hey Mikey, how you doing, bro? Doing all right. Just chilling right here in the house. Oh, got you, man. Well, everybody's talking about the uh, Victor Ortiz fight. He, uh, you know, he lost to Jose Cito Lopez after nine rounds. He said he had a broken jaw, elected not to continue. Uh, what are your thoughts on the fight, bro? Well, I mean, like everyone else that saw it, it was a good fight. Um, the fans, and they both gave a good show. You know, Jose Cito kept coming forward, you know, and swinging away. Um, Victor was that sometimes, you know, a little defenseless or whatever, you know, getting hit with punches that he might have been able to avoid, but he also tried to land some power shots on, on, on Jose, and, you know, Jose just kept coming all night long, the same, the same fighter that we know Jose to be. Um, in the end, you know, a few few times for the Vito called Victor, you know, after an exchange, you know, and Victor would start moving back, start kind of, you know, retreating instead of engaging. Then he says that he broke his jaw in one of the rounds before he quit or whatever. I, you know, I think that's what he mentioned or told my brother um, when he whispered something to, to his ear. Mm -hmm. I think that's probably what he was complaining about. Maybe, maybe, you know, he was complaining about it before that. Mm -hmm. But, um, when he finally did, you know, he told the ref that he can't continue because his jaw's broke. Got you. You had sent me a text, you know, it sounded like you were saying, hey, you know, this guy, he quit again, and maybe you didn't believe that he broke his jaw. I mean, just what are your thoughts on just the way the fight ended? Yeah, well, um, I, I don't know if he broke or not. You know, it's just, I didn't see, you know, much swallowing. Like, I've seen in other fights with other fighters that Got you. And, you know, you, you train out of the Two Feathers gym in Riverside. You know, um, I believe, you know, Jose Cito Lopez, he goes to that gym a lot. I mean, how well do you know him, and how good of a shot did you give him heading into this fight? Well, we, uh, we actually do work out at the same gym right there at Two Feathers gym in, in Riverside. Um, I see him often. I uh, didn't see him much this time because they were working out in the morning and we were working out in the afternoon and sometimes I'm heading over to Bleeper so we didn't really get to see him train but uh, we did uh, talk a little bit you know in, in the first few uh, weeks when, when the fight was uh, brought up and, and, and mentioned you know we were talking with his trainer Henry and, and along with Jose and we say you know his, his chance is, is to uh, make it a real fight put pressure on him show him no respect don't show Victor um, you know any intimidation, and, and he will crack, he will break down, because mentally he doesn't have it, and, and he doesn't have it, you know, and, and you know, he, he's shown that in the past in other fights, so we knew that that would be Jose's uh, opportunity, you know, to show Victor um, from the early, you know, moments of the fight that he's in there for a real fight, and, and uh, that's what Jose did, he kept, you know, pushing Victor around, and uh, calling him forward to engage in a fight, and Victor started breaking down. He doesn't have the heart to to fight a, a hard fight like like Jose, you know, intended, and that's what that's what he did. He ended up quitting. And you know, your your older brother Danny, uh, he works. You know, he's Victor's head trainer. Yeah. Yes. As some people in boxing know, there's you know, there your your brother Robert used to train Victor, work with Victor, then. Now he's working with Danny. Maybe your brother and Robert, your brother Robert and Danny aren't as close. I don't know how big of a rift it is, but are you close with your brother Danny? I mean, what are your thoughts like just on this loss for him as a trainer? 
Oh, well, he, he, it's not his fault that Victor quit. Victor, Victor quit whenever, you know, he feels it's, you know, too hard or too rough or too difficult for him to win. That's not my brother's fault. My brother trains him, um, you know, with, with uh, what he knows, you know, as a trainer, and he's a good trainer. Um, my brother Danny um, knows a lot of, about boxing, and he trains Victor, we get him in shape, and it's Victor who's in the ring. And, um, I mean, Victor was still winning the fight to what I read, you know, on the scorecard. Mm-hmm. So maybe he was continue if he was still one. And I'm sure my brother wanted him to continue because, you know, they could see that he was up on the scorecard. But it's Victor who ends up quitting. Um, it doesn't, I don't think it affects my brother as a trainer for, for his career. Um, I don't think it'll, it'll uh, affect him much because he's doing his job to prepare his fighter. It's not, you know, his fault that his fighter, Victor, you know, decided to stop the fight. Gotcha, Mikey. Well, thanks a lot, bro. We appreciate it, man. And uh, we'll be talking to you soon. Sure. No problem. All right. Bye. Bye-bye.